don't feel comfortable. And not even that what they went and did in it. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I'm going to come to y'all with a little story time. Shit is very stressful and I want to say in a time like this where things are so expensive, um, inflation is going up, but your income isn't rising. So when you go out and you purchase things. You value the things that you purchase because you're purchasing them with your hard-earned money. And people who don't go out and get it like you go out and get it think that they can just take it from you. So, if you have not, as of today, seen the viral TikTok that is going around where a person is showing people how to steal 20 Hondas and Kias, okay? The person is going around showing you how to steal it, and all you need is a USB port. And it's true. All you need is the USB to steal it. So, Friday, August 26th, my 2017 Hyundai Elantra was stolen from right in front of my front door. 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's bar daylight. 6.30, summertime, you already know. The sun is out. The sun is out at 6.30 in the morning. Broad daylight. Thank the Lord we have cameras around our home. We have cameras. It was my fault because I did not have that particular app with Xfinity where it um, sends you the notification for motions that go off. Because for some reason with Xfinity, you got to have all these different apps for all these different things where they need to make one convenient app. So I don't keep all the apps downloaded on my phone. I keep the main app with, with my alarm system because you can also see the cameras on that. It just does not send you the notifications through that particular app. So, which is crazy is that around this time is the same time my husband normally leave out for work. And I thank God that he was not here at the, mo at the moment but, um, that this happened because you never know what this person could have been what could have been going through this person here how many people they were with or anything and and today it's like these young kids they just don't give a fuck like they are just wild for no reason like that that like they don't have nothing to live for they act like they do not have nothing to live for so i'm going to show y'all up i'm going to answer the clip of exactly how it happened I'm gonna explain so that way when you're watching it, you 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 know what I'm talking about. So my husband and my son had left out like 5:30 in the morning to go to the barbershop so he could get them to the barbershop and back before he had to go to work. So I'm in the bed sleep. I'm passed out, knocked out. And he gets to calling me. No, um, my son had ended up texting me. And I had woke up from the vibration, um, asked me did I want something from McDonald's because they were stepping to McDonald's. So I was like, no, I'm good. So I went back to sleep. By the time I had ended up falling, like really right back to sleep. So my husband calling me and it's like 7.15. So he called, he like, what you doing? I'm like, I'm sleeping. He like, no, he like, where you at? And he's like, where you at? I was like, in the bed, I'm sleeping. What are you talking about where I'm at? He was like, well, where your car at? I said, what you mean with my car at? Because mind you, when they left out, my car was still there. I said, what you mean? My car outside. He said, no, your car is not outside. Where's your car? So at this moment, I'm right. I'm like, let me get the fuck up. But in my head, I already know my shit not being repo because I ain't never even missed the payment on my car. So I'm thinking to myself, like, where the fuck can my car be? Because it's not, mind you, I'm just waking up, so it's not registering. So I was like, let me go check the cameras. On the camera, see the whole incident happening, motherfucker. Breaks my back window. Climbs in that bitch. Started to sit up and drives off. But the whole thing happened like this. As they go up the street, right past my house, there's a white car. Then there's the guy on the moped. They bang a U-turn and come back down. The dude in the white car, he stops directly beside my car. And the nigga hop out the car. Then the white car, he like trying to 
my car is this way and the white car is like parking on an angle to like try to block a view in case a car i guess a case another car come on the drive up and down the street they wouldn't be able to see what he was doing so then he used um the phone holder like that you would put in your set up in your car if you're vlogging and you like did a suction cup he used that because it was still in my car when i picked it up so he used that and um bust the window and you can see him climbing in the back went in the back seat on the passenger side climbing in and then he goes to the front it takes him a while i guess to get it popped once he get the car started he beeps the horn of the dude in the white car. The white car drive off. My car drive off. The dude on the moped drive off right along with him. So that's how I know they was all together. Dude, the moped was washing up the street. The white dude in the white car washing this way up the motherfucking street. So. I called Baltimore City Police. 7.30 morning. My, my husband called 7.30 morning. Because I'm just hysterical. Like, I'm crying. Like, I'm very fucking hysterical. Because if you don't know, I had a, my previous car for like 10, 12 years. No. A, a 10 years. I had my previous car for 10 years. It was paid off. And I worked too hard to get this one. Like, worked too hard to get me a new car. So for someone to take my shit, and then not only that, I hadn't even had the car for that long. I only had the car for seven months. I had just got the car in February. I just got my car February 2nd. February 2nd is the exact day I got my car. So I hadn't even had the car for that long. And call Baltimore City Police, 7.35. No one come out, it's 8 o'clock, 8.30, 9 going on nine o'clock so i'm like i tell my husband i said all right bet this isn't considered an emergency so they're going to take their time but at this point i need to make sure this is in the system because i've already called my insurance company to report the car stolen and they're going to need the police support so let's go to the police station get to the police station bitch behind the counter rude and nasty well first of all it's not that i don't respect police but y'all got to give respect to get respect have the time y'all walk around with these. That's a whole other conversation. I'm not even gonna get to it. Anyway, the bitch behind the counter. Oh, my computer is down. I'm like, so is there anyone else that we can speak with to get a report? Uh, uh no, you're going to call 911 again. First of all, bitch, who the fuck are you talking to like that? Do you think that because I'm in the police station, I'm supposed to be scared? Bitch, I've been in jail before. I and I not even only that. I'm not scared of y'all motherfuckers just because y'all got a badge. Okay. I'm not, I'm not scared. Don't nobody put fear in my motherfucking heart. No one. 
So I'm going off on her. I'm like, bitch, fucking. I said, what the fuck is the, what, what is your use? I said, you, bitch, you sorry as fuck. You telling me I need to go call 911 again. For what? For what? For, for me to have to wait a whole number two hours for somebody to come the fuck out? So call 911 again, ask to speak with the supervisor. I need somebody out here now. On my way home, they call. Oh, we're around the corner. Okay, bet. Be out there. Get him. I saw the police, the, de the detective came. I let her see the video. They gave me a police report. Blah, blah, blah. Put it in the system. If they drive past a, a police officer with a tag reader, it'll pop up. But then they talk about they got these cameras on the street. They also read tags. And um, if they drive past it, it'll pop up. So it's been six days now, right? Not hearing nothing. But at this point, like I at the at this point though, I don't want the car. Because you niggas is just joyriding in my shit. I don't know what you doing in my shit. Who been in my shit? What y'all got? It's too much stuff going around for that. No, I'm sorry. I don't I don't want I don't even want the car, so I'm really was hoping that they didn't find it. Or if they did find it, it's gonna be deemed like you know, a total loss. So, last night, August 31st, mm, was it August 31st? I'm going to have to check my calendar. All I know is it was the last Friday that it was stolen. And then it was August 31st. So, that was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today is Thursday. Yeah, so it was six days. Okay. So, a random, I, I'm asleep, like 940. A random number keep calling me, but I don't answer. One, well, I don't really be answering unknown numbers like that, especially if you don't leave a voicemail. Called three times and never left a voicemail. So, I'm just thinking, like, I'm like, I, I'm, it'd be like, I can be having a certain feeling and I be knowing shit. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, my husband next to me, he knocked out. And I'm like, yo, I think that's the police. I think they found my car. So, ever since this incident happened, oh, uh, excuse me, I downloaded the Xfinity app on my phone to, um, of course, for the motion, because, like, I've just been paranoid, like, paranoid like crazy. So, the motion detector to go off, a car going up the street. So, I go on there and look. And I see this the police truck and two dudes walking. So I wake up. I said they didn't found. I said the police about to knock on the door. I think they found my car. I said they they they. I said I think that was them that kept kept blowing my phone up. I said because this random number kept calling me. So long and behold, we go. Beep, 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 keep ringing the doorbell, banging the shit. So my husband go down there, whatever. They're like, hi, is Mrs. Rice here? So I'm standing on the steps. I'm in my robe and stuff. In my pajamas in a row. I'm like, yes, I'm here. They're like, hi, we um, we think we found your car. So, I'm like, really? They were like, yeah, we're gonna go back around to where it was at, and we're gonna make sure it was yours, and we'll call you. Um, if it, if you're able to drive it, we'll let you know. If you not, if not, we'll have to tow it. So I'm like, okay. So I was like, well, where was it at? They was like, oh, on 41st Street. I said, on what? The street is only not even a fucking whole mile away. The street is not even a half a mile away from me. Where my car was, was not even a half a mile away from me. So that's how I know it was some motherfuckers who live around here that stole that shit. Some young bumps. And I'm not, and I'm telling you right now, I already got this shit playing. If I catch that motherfucker. That's a whole nother story. Because if I, when I catch your ass. When I catch your motherfucking ass, it's on, okay? Anyway, so I'm like, all right, bet. Go back upstairs, it's gonna be the whatever. Remember this thing? I'm like, yo, I said, I just had a feeling. I said, I think that, I think they found my car. So, the detective called me. I mean, the police officer called me. He was like, yeah, this is your car, but we think we're gonna have to tow it because the ignition pulled out. I said, well, can I come around there and at least see, see the car? You know, I want, you know, want to see the damage or whatever on it. They was like, yeah. So, he was like, all right. Um, so, he told me the address. Go around there. Put the address in the GPS. That's what pissed me off. Was said, three minutes away. 
three minutes? Three motherfucking minutes away? All right. So me and my husband, we get up, go around that bitch. Bam. It's my car. Back window is busted. The ignition is pulled all the way out. I'm going to show y'all what the car look like. I'm going to take y'all out here and show y'all what my car look like. So, the officer was able to drive. Um, it was another officer able to get it started. So, my husband was able to drive it home. Especially since we're only three minutes away. Instead of getting a tow truck. That night, last night. So, my husband drove it or whatever. And... Yeah, the police said they wanted to make sure that um, before we had drove off that they had got it out the system so that way we wouldn't get, you know, pulled over or whatever, saying that we driving a stolen car that's actually ours. <laughs> but this shit has had me so stressed out. And it's just like, I want y'all to understand this. If you are a person out here that think it's okay to rob and steal from a person Everyone has the same 24 hours in a day. The same way one person goes out and get it, you can go out and get it. Just because a person might have a certain thing, don't mean that that motherfucker might not be struggling for that shit. Okay? And I, I, I pray to God. I'm not even going to lie to you. I pray that something happens to this motherfucker. And I know that that is not okay. Because karma is a bitch. I'm, and karma will come back on these on these people because one i know this is not the first time they did it. it i know it's not the first time that they did it um but it's just that to take something from somebody that works so hard for their shit that that shit just goes to show how so below the belt and sorry and bummy y'all motherfuckers out here okay okay so, if you out here on a fucking corner, you selling drugs, or you a motherfucking squeegee man, because y'all niggas ain't boys, y'all squeegee men, begging motherfuckers for money, go ahead and get a job at so many motherfucking places that's hiring right now, that motherfuckers ain't got to be struggling for shit, because y'all don't want to fucking work for shit. Y'all want to get it the easy way by taking it from the next motherfucker who worked hard for that shit. But let me go ahead and show y'all what the fuck happened. But before I show y'all my car, if you are a victim of a, of this shit that's going on, there's a class action lawsuit against Hyundai and Kia. Hop on it, okay? Hop on that shit so you can get paid. Because it's their fault that they made these motherfucking cars so easy to be stolen. It's no way a motherfucker all they gotta do is put a USB on my car and it starts. Like it's a fucking key. There's no way. Like, are you fucking tripping? Find y'all a lawyer. Because I already did, okay? Find you a lawyer. Sue, Hyundai, and Kia are going to have to pay for this shit. It's so many fucking cars being stolen. And also, the person who showed motherfuckers how to do this shit, I hope you rot in hell. Because you started it. I hope your ass right in motherfucking hell. Alright, so I saw. Let me take y'all to see this disastrous motherfucking car. I'm currently waiting for a tow truck to come. Uh, so that way that they can um, tow it. So I had my husband, um, I had my husband pull the car up on our grass and I had blocked it in. Um, but let me just show y'all. So the back window is bust, okay? Do y'all see this motherfucking trash? And you can see the glass on the seat, weed on the seat, okay? So, I'm, I'm, I'm just not sitting in this car. I'm sorry. But, the nigga ski mask, 
Chico sticks, the USB cords that they used to start the car. Um, they took all my stuff out, but put a fucking box of band aids in this shit. And then look at the fucking ignition. I gotta put it so that y'all can see. The sun is just blaring. But this is the part. This part right here is what the USB will go on. And that's how you will start the car. Okay. Wait, y'all, it's a beef line in me. So, there go the USB. And... They, you put the USB, just so I can show y'all. Um, you put this part of the USB. If you have not seen the video already, put it on here. You turn. And the bitch start. Okay? Yeah. So, that's how they go. But look at this shit. They like fucked my stuff up. Even, the motherfuckers even stole the fucking part that, that you can ch charge my fucking phone up with. All the blunt shit all on the floor. All type of shit. Motherfuckers. So I had um some mail up in this shit. And that's gone. I had some Dolce & Gabbana glasses in there. That's gone. Um, some other sunglasses in there. It was a check in there too, but the shit was already cashed and it was old. So I saw that the check is missing. So, so I hope they don't go and try to get anybody to cash a check. But this was just to let y'all know, if you are currently, if you are currently driving, a Hyundai from 2015 to 2022 Hyundai and a Kia's, I believe, all from 2011 to 2022. Get you a steering wheel lock, okay? Get a steering wheel lock as soon as possible. And if you can't get the steering wheel lock, they also put the lock onto your brake pad and never forget to put it on. I'm sorry, never forget to put it on, okay? Don't buy my shirt. I just got finished throwing my wig on, okay? But never get, forget to put it on. Because to just imagine waking up and you're going outside to get in a car, something that you worked too damn hard for, and the shit is gone because some bum-ass motherfuckers want to steal your shit to go joyride in, and fuck your shit up because they can't afford this shit and they sell fucking bombs. I don't even want to drop. I, I don't know if they're going to um deem it a total loss or not. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I pray to God they do because I'm not, I don't feel comfortable. I'm not going to feel comfortable riding in my car. I'm not. It's just like. To, you don't know who been in it. And not even that what they went and did in it. You just don't know. So, even if they don't and they fix it, I'm going to trade it in. I will be trading the car in. I can't. I, I don't even feel comfortable. What's so crazy is that I watch my cameras like a hawk now. I didn't, I didn't have to. I didn't used to do that. I didn't feel as though I needed to do that. But now... Every time the motion go off on it. And I got it to go off for anything. People, cars, pets, a fucking tree branch moving. I want my motion to go off because I'm just paranoid. And what make it worse is because the fact that the people who steal your car are motherfuckers who... who people who steal your car be the people who live in your area so it's like i don't know but like i said i don't please if you can please 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 lock your shit up if you got a garage
pull your car up in the garage as soon as possible and do not leave anything unlocked. Um, and I think the thing, only thing that's really going to help me with my case is because I have everything on camera, as you guys saw. Um, so, yeah. But until next time, peace.